Hello, good evening, <laughs> and welcome to Garblag Games. I'm Ben, and this is Traveller Ren Space on a Friday. We're here to space at you, and I'm just hanging Hello, about. Hello, good evening. Uh, I can hear myself on the audio, and I know it's up and running. Splendid. Cool. Thanks for coming, everybody. Good to see you again. Um, joining me tonight, I have my my three regulars. Uh, unfortunately, Lee has Lee accused himself. No. <laughs> oh, I can't escape it. <laughs> Even when Lee's not here, I can't, I can't escape it. <laughs> Sorry. But I've got Pat, I've got Vero, I've got Nye, and we're, we're spacing. So, what happened last week? Well, a lot. <laughs> Vero invented an entirely new kind of diplomacy. Like there, there was debate in the chat. It's like, what's the inspiration of my character? And I want to let it be known. It's Paris Hilton with a dash of Sarah Ferguson in space. It's sex tape diplomacy. Uh, yes. Nye, what did um, Dr. Pavlov get up to? Totally S innocent sciencing. Science. And what, did you, what did your science last session? I, uh, I was playing with the the, the goo, the grey the gray goo, which will inevitably happen because I will destroy the universe doing this. But I don't care; it's too much fun. And I, I found some eggs. There were some eggs, and they're gonna hatch, and they're totally not gonna kill me. I'm not a walking corpse. And I pronounced someone dead when they were quite obviously dead. I did that as well. Uh, yeah, I had pretty, pretty, it was pretty fun. I there you go, that, that medical redundancy. training really came into its own there. Oh, he's super dead. <laughs> you don't say. You don't say with half his intestines on my shoe. Okay. And, and Pat, you wore a party dress. Yeah, I was, I was forced to wear a party dress because, you know, everything else I had to wear, uh, I did not want to be seen in for uh, two different reasons. Um, First, I do not want to be seen in a Yanan uniform because holy shit, the Yanan uh, Empire sucks and I don't support that shit anymore, even though I still have the uniform for some goddamn reason. And you're on the way to the, the like lead planet of the polity that are at war with them. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, I turned up yeah, with balloons Yeah, they're, they're at war with the people that we were partying with, so it would have been awkward, you know? Um, but at least I would have been the only one wearing that dress. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but, uh... And I didn't want to be seen in my Rangers uniform because I knew what was going to happen at the party. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was forced into a dress. Uh, and after that, I hung out with um, the, uh, what was he, a corporal? He's a the Commodore. Guy. And the Commodore, yeah. The Commodore who uh, wanted to uh, leak use himself also uh, from, the, uh, from the scene. Uh, and, um, <clears throat> well, we, we had a, a jolly good time, after which I... Uh, hung out uh, around my ship until there was a, a brutal murder uh, that occurred in the in the vessel um, caused by, as I quickly discovered after investigating it, uh, did not take very long, um, our, uh, our, a guy named Steve, who was the <laughs> associate of- Which um, I kicked off the yeah. ship. Why did you let him back on? <laughs> you were gone. Everything happened fast, and the person that we screwed realized we screwed him. Uh, it, yeah. Anyway, though, um, it, is, it was like the equivalent of when you're like in a hurry and you need to like sign something, but you don't read it. You're just like, oh, okay, it's done. And then like a year later, you're like, yeah, no, you gave us your kidneys. What? No, I know I didn't. I, oh, I did. Says it right oh, here. Yeah, so yes, yeah, Stephen, Stephen um, turned out to be the killer. Ship. And stole your it. ship and did a dangerous jump space exit See, did, did of it, your did ship. It succeed? Oh, what a bastard. I'm gonna take that ship back. So yeah, he um, dropped out of your ship in jump space. Well that's screwy. Yep, super dangerous. Carrying uh, some kind of weird artifact that the Sabaliri delegation were shipping back to Sabalir Prime. And that was where we finished the episode with Dr. Pavlov sealed behind a bulkhead in his lab because the 
hold that his lab leads into is now open to jump space and that's a bad thing TM I'm here for it <laughs> not for long I'm gonna I'm gonna be eaten alive but I'm almost here for it yes and one of the little egg things hatched into a toothy little three clawed dribbly of some kind yep and I'm excited. I'm going to befriend it. We're going to go on adventures together. No, it's going to kill me. It's going to devour me. But I'm, yeah, I'm again, yeah. It's going well, to now that it's born, you can make a, a medicine or biology check to see if you can identify it. Yes, I shall do that in just a moment. I forgot to open roll 20. Quickly, roll 20, go. <laughs> rookie mistake. I, I, I am a rookie. I'm perpetually a rookie. <laughs> I think you're like chief rookie now, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Deputy Chief Assistant Rookie, at least. Uh, yeah, of course. Duh. Obviously. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Sorry, sorry. Hurry up. Go, go. Go like the clappers, ran space. Oh, uh, go. Well, that's okay. While, that, while that's loading, let's go back to Vero. Yes, sorry. So you, you just got changed and paid your respects to the dead major. And then there had been this investigation into Stephen and his shenanigans. So what do you want to do? at this stage you've still got the run of the ship but you've felt the turbulence and you know that something's happened at the back end of the brand new ship yeah, I feel, uh, there's not much I can do I, I've got roll 20 open what was I meant to roll Sorry to interrupt. That's okay. Uh, I'm putting everybody on the spot at exactly the wrong moment by the looks of things. No, it's okay. I, it was my fault because I, I didn't open roll 20. Oh, wait, where's my character sheet gone? Oh, it's really tiny. Okay, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Literally, okay. All right, what, so what you were like doing Sorry. biology or medicine to try and identify these creatures now they've hatched. Oh, God, why didn't I take biology? <laughs> I take everything. Okay, uh... There we go. What what did I get? I got a nine. Is, that's a good one, yeah. That is a pass, yes. Eight is okay. a pass. So nine is kind of a scraping it. Okay. Um, but it's you know, you've you've read your xenobiology manuals, you know what's out there in the galaxy, and you are horrified to realise there's these things hatched that they are infant galu which are the fearsomely predatory species that swarmed across the inner part of the sector and led to all of the issues with the Wren screwing up this whole sector of space horribly. Mm. Famously dangerous space parasites. <laughs> Can I roll animal? Are they parasites animal? or just predators? <laughs> Well, they're, they're predators. They're, very, they're an apex, absolute apex predator. They will kill and eat anything. Can Three or four I of these guys will take down a bear. Them. I feel like that's a no on the befriending. It is correct. You are correct. That is a no on the mm. animal friendship. Mm -hmm. So I you're stuck really in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Vero, the diplomacy suite... Because the Commodore and um, Hawa are currently were currently roaming around the ship trying to track down what was going on, so you and the two lieutenants are left behind. Yeah, this seems more like a military thing, so I'll probably defer to them. So, and they're happy for you to defer to them. They they respect that you are showing them authority in the situation. 
and they're both sort of wrestling their way back into their clothes. Oh, they were wearing clothes. Oh, they were because they'd had the, like, doing, like, the, the memorial, morning, yes. Uh, yeah, the memorials. So the the younger female lieutenant um, reattaches all of her piercings and bows to you, and then nods to the senior lieutenant and says, "I, I must go and see to the body," leaving you alone with the commodore's nephew. Did I write his name down? I didn't write his name down. Angel. Angel Quest is his name. Yeah, madam, I thank you for your concern at this time, but perhaps if the ship is being destabilized, you require any assistance on the bridge? Um, are you able to escort me to the bridge? Of course, of course, happy to. So he goes with you to the bridge where Persilius is frantically trying to gain control of the ship as it jumps and rattles around a little bit. Destabilizing a ship in jump is not the safest thing at the best of times. So when you walk in, Persilius is... Um, uh, Marques, do we continue on course or do we drop out of jump space now and try and re-establish a jump bubble in a minute? I I'm not a navigator. I I'm going to turn to the lieutenant. I do you know anything about this? <laughs> I would advise dropping out of jump space. Um, obviously, it is not my ship. If you drop out of jump space, we may be able to get a fix on where this Stephen has has set off for from this location because they he will also have had to re-establish yeah, a jump bubble i understand you have objectives but what's the safest for us safest for your ship would be to drop out of jump space and see if you can affect any repairs yeah uh press last uh, get us out of jump space please. so the ship judders once again as it drops out of jump space into normal space and it's in the space between stars so there's just spots of light in all directions no nearby planets no nearby gravity wells it's kind of lonely this far out in space you were still a almost a full day away from reaching Sobelir prime so the space lanes are all around you, but you're not in them at the minute. So it's like you know there's traffic going to be passing by, but it's invisible to you, you're invisible to it. And the consoles start lighting up with warnings and bleeps and damage measures. And the, there's a big sort of diagram of the back of the ship, which is flashing bright red in the cargo bay and some damage around the docking thrusters near there. All right. I do have some electronics. Can I run diagnostic on that? Absolutely, yeah. Please please roll your electronics then. Over education? Mm-hmm. Uh, flash eight. Okay, so the ship is holding together. Uh, this was a sound purchase. A lesser ship probably would have shaken apart a lot more you'd be looking at much more internal damage. The fact that a lot of this ship is distributed along the two sides rather than across a central axis is the, probably the thing that saved you. So the rear hold and docking port is a ruin. Whatever was in there is liberally strewn over uh, at least the no parsecs worth equipment. of space. No more drilling equipment, no. What a shame. They're going to be arrested yeah, the second you get to Sobelir anyway. <laughs> I'm going to look to Angel and Chris Lyas and I'm like, uh, what? Can, can we go back to Jump Space and make it to Sobelir Prime? We can, says Chris Lyas. That's That's definitely a thing we could do. It would be better if we could weld a bulkhead or even just some spars across that 
big hole in the back of the ship to hold it together. Yeah. Okay. Not the sharp knife. I know. I know you're used to things in uh, in Scotland. They I'm only use metal girders to make intercom. iron. Brew. I'm going to call on the intercom. Attention, all uh, basic passengers. <laughs> Your assistance is required to uh, fortify the uh, the ship and its integrity so we can go back to uh, jump space. I, I know they're all drillers and welders in there. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good thinking. I'm training that. So um, you get a call back from one of these driller guys. He's like short, round, white-haired guy. He speaks with this long drawl. He's like, well, I guess my boys can help you out. Yeah, I mean... Uh... If you don't help out, we're all stranded. Yeah, so, uh, you're right. It, let, for real, for real. Work. Yeah. So, uh, uh, somebody in your um, team did that. The archaeological team. Oh hell no! That those guys ain't ain't my team. My team are under contract to them. Yeah, yeah. I I actually kicked them out of the ship, and you probably understand why now. Um, you wouldn't be in this bullshit if it wasn't for them honestly yeah i mean the, this guy i'm gonna sue this guy's ass off that equipment's yeah. expensive and that we had a goddamn laser drill that shit's not easy to replace yeah but right now we're trying to uh get for out sure yeah well, my the crew, lanes and back into gem space and i'll make it alive to um to civilian crime so um yeah my crew could, can please do the job us. My crew can do the job, ma'am. That's 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 not a problem. Uh, we're going to need some tools. Mm -hmm. A lot of our kit was blown out that back exit. So, uh, yeah, for real. I'll get my team um, to suit up, and yep, then we'll I'll, do what we can. I'll have my team uh, scrounge whatever we can uh, amongst ourselves for... Um, tools and whatever I, I take it you probably had like basic tools in your kits and your oh hell yeah um, yeah we got yeah. we got your basic welding equipment and maintenance crap i'll probably have to do yeah i mean we're not making trying to make her pretty we're just trying to make her get to where we're going well that's good because i ain't no ship engineer but i'm happy to Happy to bolt it together for you so that we can get back into jump space and get our asses out of here. I'm going to try and call the Commodore on his personal comms because I take it being a naval officer is probably the one that has like the best knowledge of ship engineering on staff available. Well, how are you? You're with the Commodore when his comm goes off <laughs> and he answers it. Like, Hello? Ah, Marcus. Thank you for contacting. How can I be of service? I have uh, uh, staff to weld and f uh, fortify uh, the da uh, the dam fix the damage that was done to the ship uh, enough to get us to civilian crime. However, it would be helpful if there was someone who knew their ships very well. And I take it you would probably be the expert on board right now. I, I will be honest, uh, my, my nephew Ansel is better equipped in this field when it comes to the, the maintenance and mechanical side of things. I'm more of a an expert on fleet and tactical management, but I'm sure Ansel will be happy to help. I must go and speak with this archaeologist, with your permission, of course. Oh, yeah, and let him know that uh, he's getting sued for the drilling equipment. Well, that is if, if that helps you in your... That assumes he ever them. makes it out of prison on Sobelia, but I will begin yeah. the interrogation now. I mean, you know, attacking him on a lot of sides is a bit daft, so pile it on. Certainly, I shall take this information on board. Thank you. Uh, hey, Commodore, may I, uh, real quick? Absolutely, here you go. My, uh... Yeah, I'll give you the like the communication, whatever, and I'll turn to... Uh, oh, no, he's with her. He's with Howard. Oh. Right. And she wants to talk to you. 
To me? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Got it all wrong. Yes. So, um, what, what's the plan here? We ought to go back for that motherfucker. No, oh right shit. now, the main thing is we gotta make it alive to civilian crime. Right. Um, a, a real quick uh, world question that I don't know. Um, are fighters capable of doing uh, FTL? Uh, that one was, yes. Yeah. Some fighters are FTL capable. Yeah. Uh, and, and right now, we're, we're sitting dead in the water in the middle oh, of anyway. jump space. <laughs> I, sorry, I just love the idea. No, not normally, but that was a really nice one. It sucks God that- God damn it, my goddamn Corvette! I, I retired, I got the car of my dreams, and now look at it! God damn Well, my, half of my divorce blown off. No, we're all shit at all thanks to Steve. God damn it! I, I said, I haven't, you know, I only need to have sex with someone once to know what they're about. And I kicked him off. Let it be known. Well, you should have made that clear before you gallivanted off doing sh shopping things and left me to deal with Steve and the I, I, You Will. should trust my sex romance. <laughs> <laughs> we are so going to talk about this later. <laughs> Young people, right. am I right? God, they're all about sex. All right, I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna turn to Angel. I'm gonna take his hands in my hands and just give him a big kiss. And says, "Like you're about to save my life again." It will be my pleasure. Please go with the crew and assist them uh, in any um, matter of engineering work. And, uh, supervision Do required. you have an EVA suit I can use? I take it, yeah, probably, yes. Ah, if, they, if it's not blown off. <laughs> no, they're not in the hold. They'd be outside of the hold. Yeah, like on the other side. I don't know how much of it is blown off. So. <laughs> right, well, uh, let's begin by getting the engineers together, bring them into the bar, and... Uh, Miss Hex, if you could send a schematic to the bar for engineering purposes. So, Persilias is like, yeah, yeah. Is that is that okay? Can I can I do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, a short while later, um, Ansel Quest and the drilling engineers. And he kind of towers over them. He's about eight inches taller than the tallest one of them. Uh, they're this, this bunch of little round chaps who clock in at a maximum of about five eight, and he's like six foot two. They got this sort of salt and pepper hair and dodgy moustaches going on, and they're like, yep, yep, yep. One of them's actually spitting into a cup and chewing something while he does it. I have been on their engineers in the British sense of the word. <laughs> oh no, these these are Texan drilling engineers. <laughs> oh okay, okay, okay. No, no, but like I worked fix with your these boiler guys. type of people, They're right? Like, oh god. <laughs> yeah, when I worked for a, for an oil company out in the Middle East, I was working for the drilling department, and I'm basically basing these guys off of them. And there was one guy that walked around chewing tobacco and spitting in a cup. It's the Texans most American American I ever met. <laughs> so they're, they're looking over this schematic uh, and Ansel's like showing them where to put things and rotating little 3D images and it it's boring as hell to the Marquess. Suffice to say he's talking to the smelly people about how to fix your spaceship. And all I'm thinking, I was like, the sooner this is done, the sooner I can be back to Bono. Yeah. So, Hawa, what you gonna do? Well, I. I You've solved I, the mystery. I wasn't very hard. I solved <laughs> the mystery. It took about five seconds of looking at a camera to realize that Steve's responsible. Um, I don't know that I fully solved the mystery as to why Steve did it, but, uh, that motherfucker is gonna pay, uh, when I find him in my goddamn shit! Well, that's something you could do. The only thing in do. life I care about! That is something you could do. Yeah? You could start 
scanning for any sign of your ship. Oh, you bet your ass that's what I'm going to do. I, I give leave to the Commodore, or, um, yes, Corporal, sorry. No, no, Commodore, you were right first time. Sorry. <laughs> I give leave to the Commodore. Commodore's high I'm rank, back. Corporal low rank. I'm, I'm, I don't know anything about military, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know anything about guns or military, I don't know what I'm doing in this character. Um, but, uh... I, I, I give leave of him, and I, I, I give him my respects and say, hey, if this guy gives you any hassle, call me back or beat him up. Um, Don't worry, something. Captain. I'm That's sure it. he will give me no difficulty at all. He's a pushover, and he's a, a real annoying kind Sounds of like he's the fellow. kind of um, obsessed academic that focuses entirely on his research. He probably won't be of much use. I doubt whether... His Stephen was anything more than a student to him. Yeah, yeah, he's a stooge, but um, you know, feel free to. But I shall question him, him regardless yeah. and see what I can find. Of course, of course. Um, I'm gonna be doing some ship stuff. I want to figure out where the fuck Steve's gotten to because you and I both want him dead. I mean, uh, back. Back or dead, both are fine with me. Both are fine with me as long as I get my goddamn ship. <clears throat> All right. Character motivation established. <laughs> Where do I go to scan? <laughs> Alright, so you head up to the bridge. Alright, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I steamroll you're anybody in the hallway. Some kind of electronics check. What electronics specialities do you have? Mm, there are specialities too. Do you have, do you have, have electronic sensors? Uh, do you have electronics to start with? Yes, I have electronics. Okay, that well, you is have to have. specialize it, so why don't you... Oh. You can say that it senses now if you want. I, I well, You were, you were running options? a, like, a scanning and tracking ship, so it makes sense. Yeah, I can't imagine it would be anything other than uh, scanning. Yeah, and that, that was definitely one that I got during my tenure. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't have a re-roll yet, did I? <laughs> uh, I don't believe that you did, no. <gasps> no, Does that I don't think score? it was... Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, it's, it's, nah, it's not good. Okay. Well, all right. Bummer that. Um, all right. Not familiar uh, with these controls. Don't really know how they work. Damn. Oh, that's oh, a shame. Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna, um, so looking over the scan, uh, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, I'm up here in, in the same room as, um, the Marques though, right? Yes. Uh, Look, um, even if we're not going to pursue this fucker, we've got to find out where he's gone. Uh, he could be anywhere, if he's I mean, even in one piece. Okay, uh, my understanding is he has something that would belong to the subiliary. I would defer yeah. to consultation with the Commodore, who's the highest ranking subiliary here. Well, the I, I vouch for we first need Here. to make it to Sobelier alive because right now we're in jump lights, dead in the water. The longer we wait, the farther he'll get from us. With the Sobelier's device, how do you want to pursue him? Ex explain to me, because I am not getting it. With what? We're not waiting. We're fixing the ship so we can get out of this very perilous situation where we're dead in the water in jump lights. Fine. I guess we do need to seek safe harbor so that we can get repairs done. But we should be doing the most we can to figure out where he's gotten to in the meantime. I would defer to the with. highest ranking officer here, which is a Commodore. And they're the ones with vested be interest. Different. It, whatever that was stolen for them. I have a vested interest in what's been stolen from me, frankly. Well, yours can be bought back with money, so honestly. Are you planning on buying me a new ship? Because that would be really we'll sweet. We'll figure it out. Money nice. is just money. Like, their thing like, looked like it was something special that like money can't buy or something. Money might be money to you. For God's sake, dear, it's only a banana. Out. How much can it cost? Like $10? $1,000? <laughs> 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 There's always money in the banana stand. I'll sit down, I'll play nice, I'll be a good pet. 
Okay, I, I'm just but rest assured. Like right now, if I don't I'm get my ship back. I'm just trying to make us okay. How can you have a ship back if you're dead? I don't intend to die in the next. Yeah, so we hours. need to get out of those ship lanes, which I've already organized. The jump lanes. Yeah. You seem to have things under control. I'll just fiddle with my thumbs. Or maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll go see if I can help them down there fix things. Yeah, so yeah. I, actually, like the more people who are able to weld and stuff, the better, like the faster we're getting out of here. <sighs> Marcus, I'm good at stuff. <laughs> I'll see you when we're done. <laughs> All right, Nye. I'm a corpse at this point. Like, no, I'm just no, they're, they're just kind of... <laughs> I like how we're doing this whole interpersonal drama thing, and you're just probably going to die. Nah, it's killing. Like I'm trouble. excited for it. So, <laughs> You've got the like... three of these little things now bimbling around inside the little okay. enclosure you made for them. Okay. It's not going to hold because they're... They started off kind of fairly slow, but within the space of about half an hour, they were up and sort of prowling around. They've got this almost dinosaur-like gait to them. Aww. So they've got these stubby little tails coming off the back that are for balance. And the back legs Aww. appear to be quite muscular. The front legs, uh, once they they start off using them to, to move around, but they keep like tipping up. And after about an hour, the tails are heavy enough to counterbalance them and the front legs come up and stay up like Cute. little arms. Okay, I'm, I'm in love with these things already. Right. The so... downy fur that they were originally kind of covered in is sort of flaking off over time and growing through as these little denticles. So these are bigger than like I can put a cup over them with a piece of newspaper. Okay. Yeah, these are about the size of, well, not, not the size of a human baby yet, about half that size, Do we but have, stockier. Does the lab have specimen containment? Like, well, no, yeah, Ben, you will have been in a lab at some point, so, and yeah. Patty, Every like, now and then. No, I, yeah, you know what I mean, but do you know how they have, con like, container things? Actually... Does it have a gas extractor? Yes, it does. Right. How am I going to get them the fuck in there? Also, I just realized gas extractors extract gas. So there'll be an opening. And <laughs> these fuckers can probably climb. Let's not do that. Because that's... Well, to be fair, probably we just shoot it out into space. But regardless, that's probably not very safe. Uh, hmm. I don't know what I could put them in. Uh, do I, I... With the roll that I made, do I know if these things are going to get bigger bigger like uh yeah with the when you pull up all the data on them these things grow to be about five feet tall okay um are, but are they like koi where it's like they grow to match the habitat that they're in no 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 they, if, they if grow quickly and they grow quicker the more they can eat okay right and they're, they're restless and hungry mm. kind of from birth Okay. Their their mouth occupies most of the front of their body. They don't have okay. a head to speak of. It's right. just this big circular fanged maw in the top of their torso. How okay, final question. How strong are they? Are these like quick but and lethal but relatively weak, or are these like little powerhouses? Are they chunky little buggers? Chunky little powerhouse. Shit. Yeah. Okay, that rules out my last plan. Okay. Plan Z. Panic. No, I'm not going to panic. No, because I imagine Kerr is like drooling at the opportunity to find biological weapons. God, this is like his evil scientist dreams all come true at once. Okay, so. One of oh the boy. iguana bunnies makes a little chirping no, noise, no, no, and all no, three of no, them no, no, no. snap around in the direction of the sound no, okay, okay. and charge towards it, bouncing no. off the edge of their little enclosure. Are they about but to break it? They, they didn't break it that time, no. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Ah, fuck. The sound, you thought I was bad. The sound <laughs> definitely set them off. Right. Uh, okay. Would it be a leap in logic that I have a container of some description that could hold them for at least until the airlock is released? 
Is there something more stable than the enclosure I made? I will even use the gas extractor at this point. I mean, Fuck you, it could, if they get you could try and system. shut them in a cupboard. I love that logic. That's what Nai would do in real life. Let's do this. Okay, we're doing this um, Wiley Coyote style. I want, <laughs> pile, I want to pile a lot of the mealworms that I have, because obviously I buy in bulk, and I want to lay a little trail going up to one of the cupboards, and then I sit on the cupboard with some string and close it. Okay, God, now you can this... make an animal handling roll to try and yes. trap them. I have this at... I have a, a plus two to this roll because <laughs> my dexterity is shit. I got an eight. It's a tech. It's a pass. I'm not dying today. <laughs> You're not dying today. You you managed to lure them into a, a mostly empty equipment cupboard. Okay. With a, a giant bag of mealworms. Yes. And a little yeah. trail. And they, they okay. kind of, like, munch their way along the trail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Occasionally sticking out these sticky tongues and just, like, licking these Aww. things up off the floor. You have to, at this point, we try and make things that are absolutely adorable. But I, I will, I will, I, I, I cannot. But I'll continue. Right, okay. Gotcha. Uh, and you lead them into the cupboard and then sort of slam the door behind them. Yep. Are you I going to notify lot. anybody about this potential threat? Well, see, but that's the problem. They know the eggs exist. And Kerr may be able to lie, but he can't... I don't. He can't lie well. <laughs> well, ah, my deception is... Skill level zero. <laughs> so it, it's not great. Oh, wait, I have a... Oh, no, I have a... Yeah, I have a two for deception. It's about as good as my animal handling. Um, I... I well, I'll, 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 he'll play it by ear. He'll play it by ear. He'll see what happens. These things might break out and he'll just acknowledge it. I don't imagine he would really care if people... I think he'd be a bit, a bit upset if his super weapons were taken away. But anyway, uh, is there a lock or something I can keep the cupboard closed with? Even if it's just cable ties or something? Yeah, you can, you can lock the cupboard. It's, it's a cupboard and a lab. They're pretty much all lockable, aren't they? Well, yeah, but it gets Kerr's lab at this point. <laughs> God knows if he actually follows health and safety practices. Uh, oh, they, okay. they are lockable. That doesn't mean you usually lock them. Ah, gotcha. So after a few minutes of scrabbling around, desperately trying to find which drawer you put the keys in, yeah, you find the big bunch of keys for all the locks and eventually yeah. get the door locked. You can hear them sort of clunking around inside, occasionally making these sort of weird screechy whiny vocalization sounds ha huh, that might not be good but it's fine it's science is all about mistakes and learning from them okay so are the eggs like just deflated and all yuck now but the eggs were were just sort of a thin fleshy membrane over yeah, the so tops of these just... things so they're starting to decay and decompose a little bit and get disgusting he... yeah he, he they didn't eat them Oh, that's a good idea. I should, I should maybe throw that. Ah, oh, no, that's not a chance. I was lucky enough to get a roll good enough to get them in there. Uh, yeah, so he, he'll just spend the rest of the time cleaning up and getting ready because, like, he has no idea why he's locked in here, but he doesn't care. Oh, and he's probably going to put all the iguana bunnies in their container and put a nice big lid on it where they're nice and safe. <laughs> it's not difficult to collect them all up because the smaller no. ones have kind of attached themselves to the big one. Oh. Okay, so they're all safely in there. Right, I shall now wait to be rescued. <laughs> and by the time you've done all of that, you can hear sounds through the bulkhead. Just vibrations and rattling sounds with regular and irregular patterns to them. So something's clearly happening outside, but you're not sure what. Oh, 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 I have one last thing to ask. Can I make an anesthetic, like a, like a sleepy smoke bomb to knock them out? Yeah. Oh. I'd like to make a science roll, and if I fuck that up, I'm happy to knock myself out in the process. Which is exactly what would happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I actually, I don't have chemistry. I have physics. Damn it. Can I just roll science? You or can just roll science, yeah. Okay. Look who's knocking themselves out. <laughs> I got a seven. <laughs> 
It's sleepy, sleepy time. <laughs> So, so you, you managed to mix hero. up uh, a sort of soporific chemical blend, but in the process of so doing, you kind of just 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 a short rest. You you've made the stuff, and yeah, yeah. Does it smell like chloroform to you? Yeah. Well, I had to test if it worked. Good news. <laughs> I'm too smart for my own good. Or too stupid, I think, would be more accurate. All right, so repair work starts happening. Hawa and Quess and the drilling engineers go to work. And the drilling engineers might be somewhat unkempt, but they're they're efficient and they, they know their engineering. So between the, the half dozen of them and with Hawa and Quess overseeing the process and supervising them, they bodge together a set of repairs in the back. And let me just make a roll for them. I, I might use that re-roll that um, Vincent got me earlier because you don't want to be trying to fly on that roll. There we go, that's a bit oh, more I like really it. appreciate the GM using that for a... Uh... Well, well having you explode across subspace isn't oh. going to make for a very good game, is it? I, I, I don't care your motivations. I feel loved. <laughs> and, you know, probably about four and a half hours of screwing around in deep space. And one of the engineers comes up to you, Pat, and he's like, well, ma'am, I'm pretty sure that's going to hold at least half a jump. That's yeah, maybe a parsec asshole. out of this bad boy, and he slaps it. Pong. That's all we need. Let's take her home. Oh, uh, we got, got to do. Yeah, we're heading to harbor. Pat, uh, Pat, uh, is it like CSI Miami? Like every time you say like a one liner, you put the giant like. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm just doing this because it's like you know my my combination no, no, I... uh, welding tool, uh, face mask, and also no, no. like. Presumably I know I, my zero G. I just like the Space idea. Mask. <laughs> it looks very cool. It is very cool. I know it does look cool. That's why I got it. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Anyway, yeah, I, I basically I'm just like, uh, thank you. All we need to get uh, is is half a jump. We're like a fucking day from Harbor. This couldn't have happened at the worst uh, at a worse time, uh, frankly. So. <laughs> so Persilius puts the ship yeah. into jump space again and continues on the pre-programmed path has has anybody checked in on dr pavlov because if, if nope. he's in his lab he's going to be sealed in there and that thing doesn't have a bathroom couldn't be the this it couldn't be farther from the uh the top uh, of it. <laughs> that's never stopped him before <laughs> could, could we send one of the peasants to look on him if you're like uh, th thinking it's uh that sort of situation well he'll, he'll, he'll got be beakers in his lab he'll, he'll be a lot yeah but he'll be locked oh he'll be like he doesn't care he, he locks himself in half the time whatever oh uh captain i i ran those scans for you again Oh, you did. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you you had your. Never mind. I've never used a ship like this. Carry on, though. Yeah. Um. And he hands you like a data slate. This is so. Based on the projections that I can see there. Single jump. He's heading into the Great Barrier. Oh, fuck me. Is he heading towards... I, I mean, like, you know, I, I, I initially start saying this out loud to whomever is, is giving me this. It's not, it's not anybody related um, to the archaeology um, team. Could I try and recollect uh, whatever he was going on about when I, like, didn't really want to listen to him? It's like, yeah, I know that's... A I had a conversation with him about the same thing, I think. So... Yes. So I kind of, like, pieced together, like, where about that would be you're kind of you, you've jumped into sobeliri space um 
Yeah, he definitely wasn't going towards Thass, which is another Sobaliri planet. That's no, the, no, but it's just kind of like I want to show to Captain Hawa that I'm trying to help, even if I don't give a Um. Okay, <laughs> so Vero, make an intellect, a base intellect roll, or I'm trying to think what else it could be. This is kind of a remembering stuff skill. Remembering carouse? Like uh, intellect over carouse? Yeah, you know what? Intellect carouse kind of works. Because yep, you're cool. remembering something that someone told to you while you weren't really concentrating. Because carouse. Uh, I am at minus one. So, no, nothing kind of jumps out at you. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I did also have a conversation with him where he mentioned the angels uh, kind of recently, um, did, and and I knew I obviously knew his trajectory because you know I actually spoke to him about like you know where are you headed, friend. Is is it lining up at all with absolutely? The, uh, the... It's almost a direct line to the place that they were talking about going to to do their excavation. I, I phoned the marquee. <clears throat> All right. Um, sorry about how dramatic I was earlier. I was in a bit of a panic state. I'm sure you understand. You mean you're talking to me? I phoned you, yeah. OK. Do you pick up? Yeah, yeah, no, because you said something <laughs> else. It wasn't my name, so I wasn't sure. Oh, yeah, you said marquee, and she's a marquess. I'm sorry. I, I've i been. I this is what you get for not keeping the monarchy. <laughs> Bloody Mar Republicans. Marcus, I'm sorry. I, I, I phoned the Marquess and, and I just basically, I just go, sorry, I was a bit uh, dramatic earlier, a bit of a panic mode. I'm sure you understand. I think I know where this guy's heading. And frankly, um, it's stupid. I, but I think we have more time than I initially thought. I uh, expected someone with your ex life experience to not care that much about some corvette when we have bigger military objectives i left the military i left all that behind I have been why did my you leave that citizen. behind because because yanan were kind of shit what are our military objectives right now? Fucking over Yanan. I, I don't understand why you're so concerned with a Corvette. Look, I want to fuck over Yanan as much as you do. But we ourselves just got fucked over. And that cost me my life's work. Which is to say, yes, the Corvette. The, the nice little ship that I sectioned away from myself, but also my peace of mind. I'm doing this. What peace fire. of mind? I don't want to be hunted or hunting anything for the rest we, of my we life. Were, I don't live. My understanding is you were already on the run. And I've been trying to avoid getting caught ever since. And what about your Corvette being in the reef would lead you to getting caught? I there's something I'm not adding up here. I don't I did not. I'm glad we all know that the Corvette's going to the reef. I did not realize that. I did not know where this motherfucker was going. I had no idea as to his motivations. He could be going back to Yunnan for all I know. But he's not. He's just some dumbass academic with an unhealthy obsession with something. Yeah, I told you to trust my sex romance. He's a dumbass who just want to drill some rocks. Because he ain't good at drilling no human. I don't think you understand. Where I don't think from. you understand. Well then, I suppose let's call it a draw. And 
get the ship to harbor because I mean we're already in jump space. <laughs> right? I think we already made yeah, yeah, the you're, jump. You're, you're in jump yeah, space. No, you're right, you're right. I'm just blabbered blabbergasted. Um <laughs> Okay, so while we're making the last leg to Sobelia Prime, what the Marquess would like to do is um, use her knowledge of the law and constitutions of the different polities in the sector to kind of start making a draft of a speech that has to do with like, like the overall theme is like the only thing that um, tolerance societies cannot allow is intolerance mm -hmm. kind of like that team but like kind of like take bits and parcels of different like uh constitutions of the different polities that is like kind of like a uh, human rights type of thing and like like inside like do in that speech is sort of like the optics is what I described, but I want to use like, oh, the MUT, what they have in their constitution that's like, yes, we're about like, women are equal and gay rights are human rights and trans rights are human rights sort of thing. And like, and go through all the polities that have something like that to kind of build a case, kind of like, as if I was like a, a, a lawyer making my like, wrap up speech at the end of something mm -hmm. prepare that yeah while, while you're looking at that it does occur to you as well that you may need to dust off your your legal skills a little bit because Sobele are going to have questions one of their people did get killed and while you didn't do it and assuming that the Commodore and his people will speak on your behalf it still happened on your ship so he's, which is not my ship. Which is not your ship. It's, it's, ship. it's nice Thank ship. You. But they're going to have questions for the ship and the crew. So you may have to face some questioning, which is probably going to be polite because you have a good relationship with the sub Illyria at the minute, but could take a turn for the less polite if they're not happy with what comes out of it. Oh, they're gonna very stupid care. on their part, but whatever. So, uh, mealtime rolls around, and the the commodore and his staff join you. Uh, I see the doctor is still not with us. Is he okay? Who's he asking? You. Both, well, as I told you, the professor does. Yes, yes, Whatever these the researchers get through. very carried away in their work, I understand. I, 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 I'll tell like the core, like, let's be honest, I needed to put the name, a name of an owner that wasn't me. Mm, quite. That's his role here, like, whatever else he wants, like, and I'm gonna take back her own, like, this is the sort of thing he does. Once, once we drop out of jump space, I will communicate with my government and let them know that you and your crew are not to be harmed. Um, there will be questions. They, they may wish to impound your ship for a short while, but please rely on me to see you through this time of difficulty. Uh, you have been a great service to us and your, you and your crew have been most helpful in resolving Time the... of difficulty because of you have my ships to or not. Absolutely, I completely understand. But bear in mind you are... We're going into a war zone. Sobele Prime is at war. And yeah, I will do what I can to ensure that all of the blame for this entire sorry situation lands on the head of Mr. Stephen. But I don't doubt that the military police will want to ask you some questions. Uh, don't worry, you will not be arrested. Sorry, uh, I know my law. Military police cannot arrest someone who's not military. Like I say, you will not be arrested. Simply, there will be some questions because this is a crime that has been perpetrated against the Sobeleri military. I have it's a civilian ship. I have a question. 
Kara, Kara knows there's a war. Yeah. And Kara's aware enough to know how the having weapons of war on a civilian ship as it comes into a warring state is. Does he know that? Would you say that's a fair uh, That's not an unreasonable thing to know. Okay. I mean, you probably got a couple of letters from the ethics committee saved on a hard drive saying, no, Dr. Pavlov, you cannot take weapons of mass destruction into a war zone. Okay, that's fine. I just Even for testing that. purposes. Okay, okay. I don't want to play him what he is not, and I didn't want to play him too. Yeah, that's fine. Apologies for interrupting. No, that's fine. And a few hours later... I'm, I'm going to kind of, like, crumble in a chair. It's like, I'm going to look at those guys like, I wanted to help you. Like, And what you have. have you, you have been a great into? help. And this is why I'm telling you in advance that I will do what I can to ensure your safe arrival and safe withdrawal from Sobeleri space. The Major was a valuable member of the military and as such there will be questions to answer. I will attempt to field as many of them as I can but I am sure you will st at least be asked to make some kind of statement. Each of you. I, I am concerned more for Captain Kashaf who may be treated less kindly. Yeah, not surprised to hear that. And also, uh, can handle him. I am, uh, make sure Captain, the Captain is treated well. She's in the set to, to the Sobeliri. Don't turn her into a liability when she can be an asset. Worry not, dear lady. This is not oh, my yeah. intention at all. You have all been a great help to the people of Sobelia, and I shall see to it that this information makes it to the highest levels. I am not without my own contacts among the politicians. People whom I shall contact first before making the official report of the death of Major Kaur. I was like, oh, oh, right. And you should have these and I'm going to take the drives that I like the videos of like six days. There you go. Yes, of course, uh, I will pass these to my government and they can make what use of them they, they wish. Thank you. <laughs> it's probably just like a tiny little data crystal like this. No, I, I like that. <laughs> you stack. want it to be a big stack of hard drives. So much cooler if it's a stack. It's a stack of small, uh, small <laughs> crystals. You just got them lined up in your in your little it, box. Like, but but it's does. too high for me to like do that, so I, I need to like do that. <laughs> so you drop out of jump space into space around Sobelir Prime, and straight away your senses start wailing and shouting and telling you about all the ships in proximity. This place is crawling with warships. There are military ships in long range orbits around Sobelir Prime. There are weapon emplacements. There's mass drivers. There's all kinds of shit going on in this whole system. And you've come, you've dropped in right at the outside edge of the system where you have to for the gravity well. As you travel down the gravity well, communications start flashing back and forth to the ship. The Commodore fields a lot of them. Uh, where necessary, he's like, uh, given that your your captain scientist is not available, is someone able to field the landing calls? I actually, we probably, uh, I don't know how well we can um, dock like this. So we, you probably want to call on assistance from the military to... Uh, Yes, that is a very safely. good point. I, w I have an idea, actually. Let me contact a friend of mine in the Admiralty and we will see what we can do. Nye, you, you kind of wake um, up. You've got a thumping headache. Oh, I, I, mean, I, might. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have, <laughs> I shouldn't have accidentally sedated myself. <laughs> Uh, and then you realize that your thumping headache isn't just a thumping headache. There is a repetitive thumping noise as well ah, coming from over mm. at the cupboard. Yes. They sound like they're heavier than they were before. Mm. Uh, it's the cupboard holding. 
The cupboard is currently holding, yes. Okay. Can I just, like, get a bit of sellotape or space sellotape and just, like, write on a piece of paper, uh, be careful, and then just sellotape that onto the, to the, to the cupboard? Sure. Dangerous alien okay. bioweapon. Do oh, no, he wouldn't it. even go that far, because in his head, he's it, done, it, like... It's self-explanatory, to... really, isn't it? You didn't want to gas them? No, I gassed myself. That, that, that was... He tried to goal. gas them and gassed himself <gasps> by accident. Yep. Yep. And there's none left, okay. I could do another one. I could go to sleep again though if I fail. <laughs> uh, and then... Oh shit, you know, he'll have no awareness of what's going on because he slept through the you overcome. slept through all the repairs yeah, and the jump. I have, yeah. And you've um, got a hangover. Yeah. I mean, they're in the cupboard. He's done the most he can do. Uh, I could try knocking him out. But I feel like that that might have the same effect. So, ah, uh, so Pat, you're on the bridge with yeah, Persilius no when idea. the call comes in um, for the ship to dock with the warship Pride of Sobelir. Okay. Flagship oh, we... of the Sobeliri Royal Fleet. Oh, I better not fuck this up. I'm gonna like um. Clean up, dress really nice by Sobiliary standards, kind of like, okay, I'm going to get arrested, probably, whatever. So. And the pride of Sobiliary dwarfs your ship as you approach it. The planet's still a couple of hours away in system, and this battleship that just appears alongside you, you're like a mosquito next to a whale with this thing. And it opens up a big hatch in one side. It's probably big enough to fit this thing, if I play my cards right. Uh, Persilius kind of looks at you and says, are we, are we going in? Honey, I don't think we have much of a choice. Okay. It's not like we can... Of the fucking it's, and it's no. not like we can duck properly to where we are right now. Yeah, so this I, is probably I, our safest I option. just wanted Percy, to ask. you want to back me up on this one? Uh, I'm more accustomed to flying a smaller craft. Yeah, I've, I've got this. Don't worry. And so, Persilius okay. flies you into the hangar on this ship. And the wall slides shut. It goes dark for a few seconds, and then the internal hangar lights come on inside. And you can hear the the hangar repressurizing. Well, that that's a good sign. If they didn't repressurize the hangar, they'd be trying to keep us hostage on ship. So by repressurizing the hangar, that gives us a little bit of freedom of movement, I guess. Honey. We're going to be uh, behind bars for a little bit, I think. Uh, where, where have you got the Commodore stashed at this point? Because I'm, I'm guessing you probably don't want him on the bridge. Wherever he wants to be, aside from the bridge. He's kind of waiting in the lounge then. Vera, what about you? Are you lounge or bridge? I would want to stay with my two lieutenants. I'm okay, wearing so. my... Uh, and probably by, by the Commodore pocket. also, kind of like... Yeah. Is that well? I have done what I can. Uh, my good friend Admiral Jay is in command of the Pride of Sobelir, so you are under my protection and under his protection. Above that, this gives you a great deal more safety and security than if the civilian government were to try and take you in. They would try to make some kind of ridiculous business of this whole affair and I fear for your your friend Captain Kashaf. Uh, this way, while you are a former enemy combatant, you are an honorable former enemy combatant and not a war criminal. I'm sure yeah. you can appreciate how the difference in treatment will be handled. Uh, now, I, I would ask that you disarm yourselves. <laughs> and I'll, I'll just, like, take off my handbag with macaroon and put it in the bench. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, she she takes off all her armaments, um, and she 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 kind of gives like a very earnest look to the uh, the um, commodore, and and she she says, "On my word, look. Captain, I will see to it you are not harmed." I really appreciate all the work you put into this, and were it not for the shit of my circumstances, uh, shit circumstances of my uh, of my birth. Uh, I, uh, I, I uh, trust that you know I would not have served in the uh, Yunnan military. Uh, I understand the difficult situation you find yourself in. Not for an accident of birth do any of us live through our turn on the wheel. I've made choices since the accident of my birth, and I hope those choices speak louder than accidents. Nye, uh, there's a knocking at the door. Ding, ding, ding. Hello? Yes, hello? Dr. Pavlov? Oh, hi. What is it? This is Lieutenant Camilla. Could oh, you please, hi. Could you please come out of the laboratory? Oh, okay. Yeah, no bother. Let me just... And then he's... Wham. Yeah, I've hidden. I've... Wham. Oh, are they really... Wham. <laughs> can, I, can I just like... Hmm. Is there like some jump cables or something I can just tie on the, the doors a little bit tighter? I know it has no mechanical benefit, but I feel like that's for you. It's just, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll just... And he's going to do that thing, you know, when you open your door, just slightly light, wide enough for you to get through, but not for them to see inside. I kind of want to do that with the sliding door for the lab and just be like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, yes, hello. What can I help you with? Uh, we are about to disembark the ship. Okay. So, if you could please come with us. Oh! You're, you're not currently carrying any weapons, are you? I might I might need to deactivate some stuff. Don't worry about okay. your ship. Uh, just if you are carrying anything yourself. Oh! Uh, oh, I, th I, I did have some kind of microbe that you really aren't supposed to get on your shin, but I don't, I don't think... No, I left that. I left that in my other lab. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, I'm all good to go. Uh, is there anything? Is there anything I should know? Uh, you are not under arrest. Oh, that's that's new. Okay, that's, but that's, there may that's be some questions. Uh, we have oh. already arranged this with the Marquess and the Captain. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but please, if you could come with us this way. Okay. Yeah. No uh, and so, by this point, you've all been kind of gathered in the cargo bay, which is an absolute. Shit-shaped yeah. devastation <laughs> storm of epic proportions. There's two massive rebars welded end to end to hold the back of the ship together, where there used to be a whole bulkhead and a wall and everything. And you can see down where the ramp used to be that a, a portable ramp vehicle is being driven up and Marching alongside it is a small squad of Sobolyri Navy personnel. And behind them, there is a chap in a much more ostentatious jacket than the one the Commodore is currently wearing. He dusts off his epaulets a little bit. If you would accompany me, please. And so he, he ducks under the, the, the bulkhead repair and heads down the ramp. Who is he talking to? Us three? He's talking to you three primarily, but also to the miners. And he has the scientist, the, the archaeologist, Dr. Atticus, in handcuffs. Is uh, Lieutenant Quest with me? Yes, he's, he's okay. walking just behind you and to your right. Oh. Okay, like motion is like no no like I, I want to take your arm sort of thing kind of like kinda. he steps up and takes your arm oh well, I, I, i'm probably uh, gonna like squeeze it a little because i'm stressed out like i i want the emotional support and the commodore leads you. you down the ramp how off for her part zips up her uh her um uh, ranger's uniform which she is currently wearing 
uh, full, full regalia, uh, anything and everything that would signify that she is a member of the Rangers, she's wearing. Can I just say, like as nigh, I actually kind of liked the archaeologist, so I feel bad for him. Oh, he's going down. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. I don't like Stephen, obviously. Oh, God, someone, no, someone's going to take the fall. I, I don't, but I just, I don't know. I really liked that character, even though my character didn't interact much. I liked the character. Anyway, I'll... So you reach the bottom of the ramp, the ramp and the, the Commodore hands off Dr. Atticus to two of the soldiers. He says, please escort this man to the brig. We will have further questions for him. Uh, and then he, he rips off a salute to the Admiral. Admiral Jaser. And the Admiral salutes him back. Commodore Gress. These people are my guests. They are under my protection and hopefully under the protection of yourself as well. Please have them seen to appropriate guest quarters. Admiral says, I understand. Uh, you do take them to the diplomatic wing. Please, when you reach the suite we have given you, do not try to leave. My guards will unfortunately have to stop you and I would prefer to avoid any unpleasantness. Like, as I pass the Admiral, I give it like that sort of like quick half curtsy Admiral sort of thing. He, he nods almost automatically in response. He's a man who's used to being obeyed. And you're escorted through the, the military ship and into a small frugal diplomatic suite so there are sort of four rooms in the suite and a central lounge area the two guards who are with you take position on either side of the door after swiping the door open for you and indicating that you should go inside my lieutenant's coming with me he's not no i must leave you here but i will speak with my uncle about what we can do to support you that, that was a part of the deal you will be fine but i'm gonna be like a bit clingy kind of like you will be fine i promise and he says something to the two men um you're not entirely sure what he said because it was something in sort of a sobeliri language or dialect or some kind of phrase that he uses and they they sort of straighten up a little bit more Why are we here? <laughs> so the door closes just as Keir <laughs> says, why are we here? Like big smile on his face. He's like, whoa, this is, this is a new... It's probably like the most the brutal, barren, smallest place I've ever been put in. <laughs> and this is probably, counter-versionally, probably the most that Keir like, has got I'm to wander prison, around. I'm in prison, but... I'm in prison. This is prison. Yeah, to you, this oh, is prison. To um, to Dr. Pavlov, this is a five star hotel. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Like, he definitely was in I, his I'm lab. I like, kind of like lose my shit. Like, what did I do? What did I do? I I'm probably like of... picturing it like worse than it is because, like, never, never faced anything like that in my life. I kind of look at her, and if Hawa was a more, uh, uh, if Hawa knew her better or was more compassionate towards her, she might go over to her and like pat her on the back and say there, there, or something to the sort. But she kind of just looks at her and thinks about doing that, but kind of just says, it'll be all right. Yeah, I mean, we'll given what you, you've you heard right. in your military career, Hawa. This is this is not what you'd expect as treatment from the Sobeliri. I mean, according to what the Yanan would have told you, you'd be hung up on a hook being poked with red hot spikes by now. They have much worse uh, tortures in store for those who are actually uh, criminals. I, this is I a, was promised a safe passage, and now we're in military prison. Oh, this is not military prison. This, this is, is a prison. A, 
No, no, this no, is not. What? This is not military prison? Explain to me. Oh. Having seen the inside of a military prison, uh, not, not, not personally having been in one, but nearly avoiding it. I've been in a Sobileary military prison, because that looks like a Sobileary military is prison this, to me. Is this because of the bioweapons? The what? What bioweapons? <laughs> in the ship. What? Yeah, there's bioweapons in the ship. I put them in a the cupboard. What? <laughs> Are you I, I, I'm gonna like me? knock. I, I'm gonna <laughs> run and knock on the door. And knock and pound and pound on the door. The, the, the door there. opens. I, uh, I and one of the I, one of the guards says, Madam? There's there are bioweapons in the ship. I wasn't aware of it. Don't worry, don't worry. I've not tampered with them. The, your bioweapons are safe. I've not messed what with them. What on right. earth are you talking they, they, about? They look... One of them radios through. Or not says something Sorry. in, in the, the Sobolary language. <laughs> it will be dealt with, madam. Thank you. Oh, oh. And he closes if, if the I door could... again. Oh. Kind of wish I didn't tell you guys now, because now but I'm not going to get played with them. Please calm down for a second. Oh, I'm super calm. No, I'm pacing. <laughs> would you calm I'm down? Pacing. Would you please <laughs> elucidate? I, I'm perfectly calm. I'm perfectly calm. I've already elucidated today. I forth. accidentally sedated myself. You're what? I'm going to knock on that door next, and I'm going to request <laughs> military prison. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. The the captain of the ship will get this all sorted out. Isn't she the captain? I, what's going on here? Is how are the how are you're the captain? How could you let this happen? I'm not captain of the ship. Well, who is? You are, and I'm gonna point oh. at you. <laughs> oh. Here you are. Oh. That's not. That does not bode well for us. They're going to ask me questions like, now. I know what the you, questions you, meant. Didn't you understand that you're legally listed as a captain of the ship? Oh, is that why? I, that's why I was signing that paperwork. I should have read that. God, well, hmm. Hmm. We'll be fine. It's okay. We've told them about the bio weapons. So it's all you good. Broad. What you would consider bioweapons on the, the 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 top of their fleet. And whatever happened to those eggs? Oh that's that's the bioweapons. Don't worry. That's what I said. They're they're bioweapons, so it's all good. What? I hatched them. Is Macaroon a bioweapon? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no, the iguana buddies! <laughs> oh no! Now 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 cares gonna knock on the door. Oh, oh. The door opens. <laughs> the Aguana Buddies! I'm going to shake him. The Aguana Buddies! Please, sir, this is not the time. I'll slap him. Don't you tell me it's not the time. He My catches your hand as ship. you go to slap him. Oh, uh, you, oh you're really, re you've got really good reflexes. <laughs> sir, please. And he sort of pushes you back inside the room okay, and well, you've closes got, the you've door got save. again. Oh. I'm going to sit down. This is. Well, I'm going to give them a one-star review. Do I have macaroon with me or not? Like, do I have my, my bag with Do you me? want to have macaroon with you? I know you said you put it down earlier, but they're probably not going to have stopped you bringing a handbag with a tiny iguana bunny. Yeah. No, Kerr's going to sit down. This is macaroon with me. A one-star review. It's a terrible hotel. The communication screen in the room I told you we're in prison. Bing, bing, oh, bing. That's bing, a terrible bing, bing. prison. In mine? My bag? Boom, boom, bing. Boom, boom, bing. Is it my bag? No, it's the room. Oh, okay, I'll the, go over and press room. it. Okay. Hello. Uh, a, a man appears on the screen wearing a similar uniform to the one that Major Core was wearing okay. before he died horribly. Yes. Hello. Good afternoon. I am Major Khan. And I will be asking you some questions. I am simply calling as a courtesy to let you know I will be visiting you in one hour. Is okay. there anything you require in the meantime? Can I have my iguana bunnies? Your ship is currently impounded, sir. I am afraid I cannot give you access to any of the things 
they're in at this time. Oh. I'm gonna uh, say to Professor, ask that they be fed and kept. Yeah, well, you've got to look after them. That's th th thank you, Marquez. We will take oh. what steps are deemed necessary. Okay. One hour, and I will come okay. to interview you each. Okay. Thank you for your time. This guy sent back down the green container. I'll be right back. Is there a, a food replicator or some sort of like a, a way by which one might acquire a cup of tea? Yes, yeah, there's um, there's drink making facilities and a food ordering service in the room. Not I quite make a everybody a cup of tea. And they actually have a very interesting selection of teas. Can I, I go for like gray tea? The standard, you know, nobody will be offended by drinking this sort of tea. Yeah, can so I, you can have I... the option to either just um, make inst like instant cups of tea, or there is like a full tea making set there with it pots. It just and... makes tea, mm. yes. Well, you can have things other than tea. It's a diplomatic suite. There is also a mini bar. Oh. oh, mini bar. Yes, I went tiny. I went tiny. I'm trying to be myself. A tad diplomatic ah. and help people to a drink. But I use the replicator and I make the basic bitch tea. Carter's gonna get some stuff out of the mini bar. Put a little styrofoam. He's got like a big. I oh, know the whole, the whole, all oh, the drink. Oh, put him in his pockets. Yes. Score. Prison's great. <laughs> I should come here more often. This is not prison. I say as oh, I place okay. down like a little styrofoam cup. You guys have the, very mixed. Oh no, there's no styrofoam in this suite. This liquid. is going to be like bone china. Oh, what the mm. fuck? That's so fancy. How yeah, can... this, this is an upmarket prison cell. Bloody hell! <laughs> it's not a prison hmm. cell. <laughs> okay, I use the the, the the cheapest looking thing here, which I suppose is china. Uh, <laughs> I place it in front of uh, in front of the doctor, and I say. Here, drink this for your health. Um, oh, he's already through his like sixth energy drink. <laughs> for his oh, health. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. These keep you awake. They're really good. I give you some water next time I give oh. you things. I, I got but, through. I I got through my first year all the way to my doctorate on this stuff. So uh, after a a short Very while sure. of you exploring the fairly small quarters there are four bedrooms and a lounge that's pretty much all there is to it the the, the beds uh, depending on your perspective are luxuriantly large um if you're captain hawa and if you're um dr pavlov and clearly prison tiny single beds yeah, you don't if you're the marquess these if things don't, don't even have rotate. Room for, if you don't have room for a throuple, it's not appropriate. No, I mean, a two would be a squeeze on these beds. And there's no disco ball. I'm in prison. Ooh, these are I, 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 I like a small kind of cup. As, as I'm drinking a bloody Caesar <laughs> in prison. <laughs> I feel really bad now. How is going to all this effort making us all tea and, I, and we're both ignoring it? <laughs> You're both hitting the mini bar. Yes. So after after an hour, the the door go the door opens, and Ooh. stood there in the the long coat with the hooded top is Major Khan and um, young Lieutenant Camila, who you recognise. Oh, some hello. of you more than others. Walks over. Hi. Good afternoon, crew of the. And he looks down at his notes, vindictive bitch. He's going to see in my face, it's kind of like, what did you call me? Sort of like, <laughs> goes in her face. You know? As previously discussed, I am Major Khan. I am here to take your deposition on the incident involving Major Kaur. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's the day. Uh, Captain, there is, there is no need for, for you to stand to attention. Uh, the Admiral has said you are guests, and as such, to be treated so. 
Perhaps you would like to begin. Okay. I was speaking to the captain. Okay. Out of character, the captain didn't catch it. <laughs> would you care to begin with uh, your take on the incident involving Major Kor? Affirmative. I, I can uh, begin whenever you're ready. I'm assuming this will be private. Correct? You may speak freely in front of everybody. You are... That's not being treated as prisoners or criminals at this time, you are our guests assisting us in an in investigation. I'm, I'm going to be scanning the room and going to be like completely puzzled. Because what he's saying is not reflecting my experience. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I see, if I were more trusting of her understanding of how normal people live, I would turn to the, the pro professional legalese uh, expert in the room to like look at her, ask if she Actually, like um, wants me to it, talk it, or as you not. Say, like, I'm, I'm I don't. Least, that, that makes me think because I think I'm in prison and I, I'm like I don't know what to trust at this point. So I'm probably going to treat it as we're under arrest. Very well. You 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 can so, Should I tell her to shut her mouth or whatever? Like I, I'm with my advocate three. If I think I'm imprisoned by the civilian right now, how do I act? Well, how would you act? Because this is still, again, a judgment call for you to make as the player I'm, of the character. If you're going yes, to be a legal I'm advocate... I'm going to have a look at Lieutenant Camellia and kind of like show him like I'm... I'm she she, she nods and smiles to you and the, the, the chain between her ear and her nose jingles a little bit. She presses a few buttons on her pad and two little camera drones pop up out of the pad and start floating I... in the room. You can speak so, freely, it is okay. What's my read of the situation? Uh, make an advocate check. Over education? Yeah. Intellect? Well, yeah. it's the same modifier anyways. Because my all oh, my understanding of how the law works is what uh, I've seen on... No, sorry. Plus four. Nice. Uh, so if you were under arrest, like formally under arrest, they would have had to have charged you with something for a start. They also would have separated you if you were under direct suspicion. If they thought that you were in some way responsible or criminals, they would absolutely have separated you, questioned you separately, put you through the whole prisoner's dilemma thing to see if they could get one person to roll on the others. By not doing that, they appear to be taking these depositions something as a formality rather than um, a suspicion. So I, I, I'm going to like... You're being treated as a diplomat, effectively. I, I'm going to look at the, the captain, because the professor probably doesn't understand shit, and uh, kind of like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I, I nod to you. Uh, having you know deferred for a brief moment for you to uh, uh gauge the situation not fully trusting your read of events considering how uh tone deaf you are to the uh, the very concept that we are not actually in prison earlier but uh you know uh, still trusting you because you know you're actually kind of a fucking deity in, in the law uh department <laughs> I mean, um, my divorce was legendary. <laughs> your divorce was legendary. Even I know that. As she bogues out, let's be honest. Like, I don't know shit know. about shit when it comes to pop culture. <laughs> Captain, as so a legendary. ranger, perhaps she... you could give us your take as an investigator as to what you were able to uncover on the ship from the point at which, well, you you choose the beginning point for your your recounting. Certainly. I will be count events. Um, uh, I, 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 I will just kind of like look at Captain Awas like whenever you can, let them talk first and give as little as you can. Appreciate it. Where would you like me to begin? Uh, for instance, did you hear the gunshot that proved fatal to Major Kor? Out of character, did I? Yes, you uh, did. You I were the only one who did. Okay. You heard the gunshot, you recognized it as projectile fire, and then you were moving. 
I told him exactly that, and I state where I was at the time uh, due to my proximity, uh, having uh, been, been being, you know, performing maintenance on my own vessel in the cargo bay at the time. I, I did hear it, and I immediately rushed to respond. I give them all the information pertinent to that. I, I go, I, I mean, like, you know, I, I do try to stop at a certain point and wait for them to ask me another question, but everything uh, pertinent, uh, you know. That this guy's been... no dope. His next question is more like, and then what? Kind of things yeah, rather I... than, did you do this? He doesn't ask you leading questions. It's, there's a lot more, and then what? I keep, yeah, I keep going. I give a, a full recount of my uh, my behavior during the crisis. And, and personally, uh, Hawa does not consider anything that she did to be incriminating in the slightest. Um, so she, she just gives a full, full detail. She looked at the thing, she found out that Steve did it and then he fucking stole my shit. And I will emphasize at, at a certain point, I get kind of, uh, emotional and I'm like, and he stole my fucking shit. I still have to go out there and get that. I, 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 I guess I shouldn't be telling you all that. Uh, but captain, your honesty is refreshing <laughs> and your tale lines up very closely with what the Commodore has already told me. Uh, I appreciate your candor in this matter. Now, yes, um, and and furthermore, um, and I, I, I would also say furthermore. I'm gonna like flip because I'm like, um, hold it. <laughs> I just have to do that. How was how was like? Yeah, and I'm totally gonna murder. I mean, <laughs> apprehend him legally. <laughs> I I I mm, cannot speak as to my future actions pertaining to the matter, but rest assured, I am not happy with Steve. Understandably so. This Steven character seems a strange one. Our files on him are sketchy at best. It is almost like he does not really exist before he started at the university. And so we intend to find out more information about him. Now, Madam Marquess, thank you so much for joining us and for your forbearance in this matter. The Commodore has explained uh, your difficult situation in this matter and has stressed how important and relevant your diplomatic efforts have been with him and his staff. And he looks pointedly at Lieutenant Camilla. And we are very grateful for your contributions to the war effort i um if i may i did have a weird feeling about this uh, steve individual it is my suspicion that he weaseled his way back onto our ship after i had formally expelled him uh, back when we were on station can you explain to me the nature of your relationship with this steven just, uh, we would call it uh, with an instant. So there was nothing, anything deeper than that in terms of your conjunction? Well, I have my ways of um, knowing people and um, it didn't line up to me. And I had him expelled from my ship on station. And he, I have a feeling Archaeologist, as stupid as he is, was probably manipulated by Steve to get back on. Board that does seem to be back. very much the way. Either the man is a genius is or he is a fool it. of the first order. A bit of column A and B is my read on the archaeologist, um, but then it's my read on any scientist. I'm going to side eye a professor. <laughs> Now, I understand you are the majority shareholder in the spacecraft vindictive bitch. And yet you do not hold any formal rank or office on board the ship. Is this correct? It is correct. But would you say you are able to influence decisions that are made aboard by the crew? I would say so. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Uh, Dr. Pavlov, <laughs> who is currently working his way through the snacks from the mini bar whilst watching this <laughs> tense courtroom drama. That is better than TV, honestly. Okay. <laughs> yes, hello. 
Dr. Pavlov, uh, I understand you did not have many interactions with the Sobeliri passengers on board your ship, except for a short scientific conversation with Major Kor? Yes, he was lovely. It's very sad that he's dead. Now, I understand you discussed hyperspace manifold mathematics, is that correct? Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, he, he, he knew a lot. It was, it was awesome. He was quite, quite gifted in the field. Uh, in your opinion, do you think that this Stephen character was also educated to a high level within the field of hyperspace field mechanics? Uh, I don't know. I, the last time I saw Stephen, um, and then he's going to stop. Do I have to tell all the truth? I'm, I'm gonna like, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, this is like legal consult. It's like, I'm gonna hold on my hand. And it's just like, I'm gonna tell him in his ear, hold back anything they don't directly ask you for. Oh, okay. So I, oh, okay, yeah, he's gonna be like, I got you. So I bumped into Stephen, but he didn't want to talk. He was like all squirrely. And then he left. And then I went to the party. That's that's it. But so I don't know. I you were the last to person to speak to Stephen before, and the last person to speak to Major Core. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I understand as well that you were able to recover some biological material from Major Core's room. Oh, the bioweapons. I'm not allowed to take body parts anymore. The, 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 the lab was pretty clear. I'm not allowed to take dead body parts. So I wouldn't do that. Plus, uh, he was a friend. Well, quite. But, uh... Can I have them? Do, do you need them? They were for you, but I did hatch them. They, they are somewhat unexpected, but I have had contact from one of the General's Planet side who has made it very clear to me that these items do not exist and have never existed and should oh. continue to not exist. And ah. they will make their way off of the pride of Sobelir, uh, which I deem right and proper. The Admiral was in favor of dropping them into the engine core to destroy them utterly. Because if you oh. know what they are, you know why they should not be left alive. However, there is someone with considerable pull down on the planet <gasps> who wants them for some reason. Oh, I was going to ask to have them. I uh, will need you to acknowledge that you will disavow their existence <gasps> and anything about them having been seen. Does that mean I get to keep them? I I'm going to tell, tell the professor, it's like, if you want to get out of this room, uh -huh. you're going to promise and sign whatever that says that you're going to disavow their existence. Should I tell them about trying to sneak in to see them while they weren't there? <gasps> okay, don't tell them that. Should I, should I tell them about the other bioweapon? Well, it's not a bioweapon. I'm not sure if it's a weapon. The but what? There's another weapon inside that's hidden in like okay, a secret no, passage. Uh, if, 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 I if stole it is, from those... If, those if there uh, is, People. Tell them before they find out, because if they find out before you tell them, you're in the shit. Okay. So I stole this thing from some people, which interacts with mechanical stuff, and I think it's a type of weapon, but I can't be too sure. Can I keep that as well? Doctor, <laughs> this this uh, other item you speak of, uh, is yes. this the, the blue powder? Oh, did you find it? It, it was in the drug com cubby. Completely inert. We've not been able to prompt any kind of reaction from it. Oh. Um, initially, we had believed it was potentially simply a salt or possibly some kind of drug. But from our chemical analysis, it appears to just be a type of silicate, uh, huh. cyanotic silicate composite material. Um, Weird. So we have left it in your laboratory. 
Oh, thank you. If it That's is an nice. ongoing research project of yours, we have no interest. That's, yeah. Okay, that's okay then. Uh, well, I think that's all the illegal activities I've gotten up to. I think I think I may have, I, yeah, I may have parked in a no parking zone at one point, but that's that's the, the really important like, thing. Like... <laughs> the important thing, Doctor, <laughs> is that at no point did you encounter any biological organisms in Doctor Core's effects, no, nor I did, did not. you gestate them, hatch them, or leave them shut in a cupboard on board your ship. I did not do any of those things and I'm gonna look at the Marquez and do like a kind of did I do good face like a <laughs> then I think we we have covered everything we need to cover here oh how are the iguana bunnies yes your your pets are absolutely fine they're oh They are both well. There was more than two, wasn't there? When... I, I, I'm going to hold Mecca really <laughs> close to my heart. Oh. <laughs> when we entered the laboratory, there, oh. were, there was a, a larger iguana bunny and a smaller one that was riding on the uh, larger one's back. For Nye's sake, they've been eaten, haven't they? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. We can only assume that the non-existent bioweapon that isn't there may have been involved in the demise of any others. Oh. Okay. How right. how large were the two? Were they, they oversized with the larger or the smaller of the They ones? were babies. The it's... smaller ones. Yeah. Then there is an impressive amount of biological material transfer between... Regardless, you do not need to know. No. Well, thank you for your time. I'm going to say, um, I believe we um, have answered to your satisfaction. Are we allowed out of this cell now? Uh, please remain where you are for another few hours. I believe the Commodore wishes to come and see you once he has finished debriefing with the Admiral. Thank you for your time. I'm going to motion at Camilla, like, can we stay, please? Just sort of like... She... Imperceptibly shakes her head. The only reason you can kind of tell is because the the coins hanging on her nose ear chain rattle ever so slightly. Lieutenant, is everything okay? Yes, Major. She presses another button, and those two cameras fly back down into her pad, and she leaves behind him. And she looks back and sort of shrugs apologetically. I'm gonna like look at the professor kind of like mm. this sort of look that's kind of like I said you could do whatever you wanted but <laughs> come on <laughs> well in my defense it was their weapon are you gonna name what the weapon them. was because the what? others might be interested to hear what they were oh the what are they called sorry the I, I just called them Okay. You've been referring uh, the to them Galu. as the bioweapon. Yeah, they're Galu. So you know, Do like... Know what they are? The, the Galu yeah. are the alien super predators that were forced out of this sector of the galaxy. Okay. I, I wait, assume wait, it's Galu. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. You kept them alive? So, I've given them... political and, and social weaponry and you've given them that sort of bioweaponry. Oh no, they give it back to us. That's that's what right, yeah? No, no, no not that one. 
they're keeping it for years. One of the I only reasons I've... that humans exist in this sector of the galaxy was because the yeah. Ren couldn't fight the Galu themselves. They needed some kind of disposable soldier race. Uh, okay, I have a question because I'm a bit confused now. So when they're saying that they don't have it, they've destroyed the Galu, right? No, no, no. They want to keep it and you're signing off that you've never seen it and you're not aware. Oh, and now he's doubly sad. He's just okay, sitting in the chair. Really I, I'm going to say it's like, oh. I thought I would just, you know, like sort of political pressure without much fighting get us rid of the yinan way and what you're telling us is no they're probably gonna kill the whole sector off with your pets i keep telling you they're not mine they were the ones that bought it this is the same as me finding a dirty bomb and just priming it to explode and they're the ones taking it. It was their dirty bomb. I just, <laughs> I, Jesus Christ, I'm saying this out loud on the internet. That's going to get clipped. That's <laughs> good to know. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's, it's not my weapon. I just primed it for usage. Gabla Games does not endorse the use <laughs> of dirty bombs. <laughs> no, or priming biological weapons. It's fine. The other weapon clearly wasn't working for them, but that's probably because they didn't know how it worked. By the way, that's why the suited people, since we're... I'm feeling I very you'd open. be, like, just mixing things that go, like... And, like... Oh, I do that. Things, like... Like macaroons. I... Should know... That's why the suit people are angry with us, because I stole that. I just am feeling very what, open today. What suit people? The the people. Um, uh, ha, 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 yeah, um, he's kind of like pointing. To... I, I've never seen them. I was just yanked into uh, the ship. Uh, same face. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whoever, because you said they were, did, yeah, did, did, did the you say they were suits? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're well, yeah, I have, I have whatever we were selling them. And and why would it like we God damn it. What, like we, we got How? their shipment why? from what? point A Talking. to B. Well and that was what what was up with them? Oh I have no idea, but um well Percy un unlocked their case, right? And and Percy came to me to lock it again. Percy and, unlocked their case? And well It was I, an accident, I didn't mean to, says Percy Elias. But it, uh, and and it was an accident that I dropped and broke the case, and I thought they wouldn't want defective goods, so I just took it for myself, and I took an extra one to keep it okay, in control. It's, uh, it's well, that explains why they came at us like they did. Yes, they would be quite angry, I imagine. I didn't think they'd get that angry though. I just and took it. Like, came bang on the door. <laughs> like... It's Don't very fucking smart. Fucking bang tech. on the door! Can we talk this out amongst ourselves? Like it's 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 it's. Worse is right that at this point I should be allowed some form of release. <laughs> <laughs> this I feel like I I I don't know why I still work with you except stress. I don't have my ship. This my is. The, the door I does open it. when you start banging right. on it, and actually, just as you're about to start banging on it, the door opens, and there's oh, a nice. somewhat confused-looking junior rating stood there with a trolley with like a cloth cover over it and as the door opens just as you're about to start banging on it you're right up by the door and there's this guy just stood there with a trolley covered in a cloth and some little silver bowls and be like yeah that'll do thank thank you <laughs> i'm just gonna and lock him in with us so he, he, he kind of pushes the trolley in uh, and then sort of backs out feeling really relaxed right now i, th I think i think I, well I, I i think that's my ease my lunch that's what i've been asked i've been banging to ask for something. well they have delivered you a meal uh, it looks I to really be hope it's cyanide <laughs> it's not cyanide oh, i have some in my pocket if you'd like <laughs> <laughs> what i always carry cyanide on me so again, oh, no, looking okay. at the it's vast in, it's social a, differences between you. It's in Tupperware. I, 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 I'm going to be like, telling like, uh, uh, personalized, like, by, by Utah laws, this is torture. This is torture. 
I'm feeling really relaxed, guys. I think all I think part of the thing, the self anesthetizing and getting all these lies that I was keeping from you guys. I just I feel really I feel really like open. It's, and six energy drinks. Oh yeah, they're yeah, they're really <laughs> open. So mealtime comparison. Yes. Pat, um, for Hawa, this is the finest meal that you would be served in an officer's mess. Um, top notch, excellent quality. You've well, sure. you've only eaten like this a few times in the past. It's much spicier than you're used to. Um, Nye for for Dr. Pavlov. This is the kind of thing you would only get served at awards dinners. Oh, you've had it this level of quality a few times because you've got lots of awards because you're really clever. But this is not something you would ever get your hands on for yourself. Not in a million years. For Persilius, yeah, great posh food. And for the Marquess, it's prison food. My God, the no, tortures it, they're putting you case, through. Even after a banquet, <laughs> there's only four courses. There's there's a reason I try I, I drink bloody Caesars. Is I get my minerals and vitamins from them because else I'm purging. Clearly, so some kind of cruel and that. unusual torment. This is practically street food. I like I like the idea. The, the, the level of disrespect here. <laughs> they, they denied me the thing I, I wanted, like, someone. And they just, like, teased me with, like, bringing it in. And like, oh, no, we're taking it back? I, I like the idea that the professor takes out, like, a little salt shaker and is about to put it on, then goes, oh, no, that's that's the wrong... Oh, I, I need that. <laughs> That'd kill you. <laughs> and then take out another salt... Identical ah, salt the uranium shaker. shaker. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but they're identical. That's the best part. He doesn't like. Oh, there we go. No, that's the uranium. Oh, that's the chloroform. <laughs> this is nice. It's nice eating together. Yeah, we're like a big happy family, or <gasps> you know, at least a normal family. Yeah. I mean, what normal family doesn't trade state secrets, bioweapons, and steals from competitors? I take it back. You're like my family. I fucking hate oh. that. Oh, I'm sorry. A, a, a little while later, once you've had time to eat, whether you do or not is, is up to you. But there is a knock at the door. I think I answer it for once. About time I go to the door. Uh, and it's the Commodore. And he's waiting respectfully outside until you answer the door and he's like... I stand at ease, or uh, at, uh, you know, Captain whatever the thing Captain Kashaf, thank you very much. Uh, may I come in? I gesture forth. He comes into the, the room. Commodore's here. Uh, Milady, uh... Friends, thank you so much for your cooperation. I am so terribly sorry that the last several hours have been a waste of the pleasant time we have had together over the last week. Oh, it's been fantastic. You really it, it held held nothing back. This has been the nicest stay on a on a I, planet I'm that I've had miserable. in a long time. I, I've so. just spent twenty five years in the gulag. <laughs> 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 well, the rest of it's delightful. You spared no expense. Like, the, the, the food? Uh, surely there were other people well, that could have come I, to I, was... You were um, my honored guests. And cuisine. the Admiral is a good friend of mine. I am grateful to him that he was able to treat with you with the dignity you uh, so richly deserve. Um, I have, I hope you Part don't mind taken the liberty of having your ship repaired. Unfortunately, I was unable to find a replacement shuttlecraft for you, but the rear bulkhead and access port for your ship has been repaired at my expense um, as a thank you for the additional service you have rendered to me during this time. Um, I would suggest to you that you should probably aim to leave Sobeliri space for a short while. Perhaps travel to another polity. I would stay away from Yanan as well. Uh -huh. uh, 
understandably, I, you, you probably shall. Uh, the consensus of Atia is very pleasant this time of <laughs> year. Come you don't have to tell me I that would twice. suggest I um, say my goodbyes to Lieutenant Quest and Camilla and probably um, record some form of public address that would help our cause before I leave. I think at this time, Madam, the, the best thing to do would be to make a discreet exit. Uh, we are receiving some pressure from the government to invite you planet side, which I would like to avoid because were we to do that, myself and the Admiral lose what privilege we have and our ability to keep you safe is compromised. And I suspect that given what Dr. Pavlov had in his lab, that they are quite keen to ensure this information goes no further. Now, I am sure that if you leave and the information does not spread, that no more needs to be said. But I fear that if we let you go planet side or increase your public awareness at this time, that there could be negative repercussions for you, which I wish to try and avoid. So, yeah. so the yeah. bioweapons that don't exist. Don't talk about that. They um, don't exist. Okay. I, uh, Marquis, I don't give you orders often, and I, I certainly can't enforce them. But please, uh, let's let's try to just make it out of the system alive. And uh, I am maybe ashamed. We go fishing in the Great Barrier Reef. That these creatures were found and brought onto your ship as my cargo. I was unaware of them. To my knowledge, we were transporting the metal bar that your Stephen made off with. Those three creatures were not something that the Admiralty have had anything to do with. Uh, they are more closely aligned with military intelligence. And as Very such, they fall outside of the remit of the Admiralty and I did not have the clearance necessary to know of their existence. This is why I have taken it upon myself to affix repairs to your ship by way of apology for the inconvenience you have suffered. So the data on them that they don't exist is off limits, I presume? Mm. He's making that kind of like hopeful face like when you say- like Should Charles you have access screen. to any historical or legacy data oh. on the existence of this species? Um, that is obviously in the public domain and you may make oh. of that what you will. I so will okay. be Taking a case to the Admiralty that this project is both inappropriate and in direct breach of sector guidelines with regard to biological weaponry. I feel with the sort of um, leverage I've given you, it's a very improper. I, I hope that with the leverage we have, we are able to effect a social solution to our mutual problem. Commodore, if I may, um, I understand that you are polity and uh, the polity I was born into are at war. Um, but the people there are told things that are not true. They are taught by their government to believe certain things and they are forced into a society that is uh, accurately uh, cruel and callous, but these things do not, these things that we're talking about do not discriminate between And we are in complete agreement, dear Captain. Soldiers and brainwashed These things and should not be deployed. Children. Commodore, may I can't please be. ask for one favor? If it is within my power. Can uh, Lieutenant uh, Angel and uh, Angel Quest and Camilla accompany us to uh, ATS space? I'm afraid that is outside of my remit at this time. Uh, in order to contain the situation as it has evolved, I am afraid my nephew and Lieutenant Camilla have had to be recalled 
planet side to address the issue. Are as, they safe? Say again? Are they safe? They are safe for as long as myself and the Admiralty are able to make it so. They are in our service and as such receive the full backing of fleet. And while fleet and military intelligence, I should not be saying this. He reaches into his pocket and pulls out a little device and presses a button. Military intelligence and the Admiralty are not in complete accordance when it comes to the deployment of certain weapons and types of warfare. At the moment, the Admiralty has the upper hand and we can act to try and stimmy these efforts and we'll do so. For now, this problem is not yours to deal with. I suggest you make your way out of sober lady space. I hope our paths meet again. You have been yeah. nothing short of honorable and supportive and I respect your title and your lineage regardless of the differences between us. Oh, please, he switches Mom. the device off again, puts it away. Pavlov's remembered everything please he just said. Please send my love to the lieutenant. I'm sure they will remember your love quite fondly for some time. Can I ask for a favor? He whispers that, but loudly with like a fake stage whisper. Can I ask for a favor? Doctor, how can I help you? Can I have some iguana bunnies? Because they live here, don't they? Do you have some? Sober lady and iguana bunnies? Yes. yes, there are. There are many of them. We do not have them on, on most fleet vessels for obvious oh, reasons. Oh, why not? Because this is a Never ship of war, this. sir. Well, you you have mascots, paintings, and and an iguana oh, bunny is not an lame. intimidating foe to be <laughs> waved in the face of the enemy as a saber. Like you see macaroon in my bag. It's actually like really cute. <laughs> yeah, macaroon is currently trying to lick its own eyeballs. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll go back to the ship. Let me escort you back to your ship. Um, I'm sure you will want the comfort and familiarity of your own space. It is appreciated. I'm going to take a look at the, um, the Commodores. I'm going to say, I'd rather have the familiar, familiarity and comfort of your nephew's arms, but there's oh. a lot to do. And I'd rather the familiarity of my fucking fighter. <laughs> hey, Howa, 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 I have an idea, I have an idea, because you keep talking about uh -huh. your fighter. What if, right, we find it, and he's going to look like he's had, like, the, the greatest idea that has ever been conceived. The like, man is a genius, I remember. You know yeah. what? That is, without Perhaps a doubt, Perhaps not I something think. to discuss <laughs> while still on, on board the, the Pride of Sobelier. Fantastic idea that we'll discuss gonna... later. Later. Just a fantastic idea, though. There's a number of things we could do. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> The Commodore escorts you back down to the to the hangar and you can see it's not colour matched but you've got a new back door and the cargo hold will now pressurise again so score Does it look cool? Or does it look lame? It, it's not colour matched so it, it oh, looks a little bit like lame. like one of those cars where the bonnet's a different colour to the rest of it kind of thing mm. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Feels like home. You're not definitely, like, don't give a shit about colour coordination, I guarantee it. <laughs> Just like, There's no need if why? everything's yes. brown. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. There's no colour coordination. Everything's yeah, the colour of Canis. Never sleeps, so <laughs> Rust is the colour of Yana. Rust, steel, you know, they're the same colour, whatever. So he escorts you back onto your ship. That says goodbye at the at the door, and the hatch closes up, and he leaves the hangar because obviously it's going to depressurize. I, I, I just want to make like a show at the Commodore, kind of like I will kind of salute him as I would an equal. <laughs> he 
he rips off a very, very impressive salute himself as well. Uh, Pat, you would have noticed that all of the, the guns and missile launchers have been peace bonded on uh -huh. the ship. So there's like corks shoved in the end of your barrels and stuff like that. Gonna have to go through everything and fix it then, huh? No, and it's standard practice. Um, if you've got an armed ship that's not yours, you, you stick a cork in the end of the gun so that oh, nobody yeah, shoots no, it by accident kind of thing. Makes sense, makes sense, yeah. But these things that tend to be radio controlled and they'll just like press a button once you're outside the ship and eject all of that crap. When I get to my lab, what, what what's the lab like? Uh, something has eaten through the door. Um, the it's two remaining iguana, iguana bunnies, bunnies are bunny. huddled under a rock in the little habitat. Clearly somewhat traumatised. Something's also taken a big chomp out of the stick that was in there with them. I've broken nigh. Yeah. Poor baby. I'm okay. You okay? Yeah, I am. I'm okay. Okay. I'm so sorry. You can tell us if you're not. No, I'm sorry. I'm just done. I rub something in my eyes, so... <laughs> um, I'm okay. But the, the mother and one of the baby iguana bunnies are very happy to see you. And kind of cling on to you. Yeah. Persilia's heads straight for the cockpit. I don't know where she... Starts punching in coordinates to get you out of the gravity well. It won't take as long because you didn't head all the way into the planet. I walk with her. I, I want to have her ear as to where we're going next. What's the plan, Cap? Marcus the Marcus is going to war. Say, um, the Marcus is going to say, take us to Atya's space. And she's going to look dejected and forlorn. Like just walking through the replicator to make yourself be another bloody season. I give the exact coordinates of the uh, original trajectory that the uh, doctor gave us. Marcus isn't going to like it. Marcus won't realize until we're there. I'm just going to realize she's not at the second part of the fashion week, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what, what did I give? Did I, did I make command coordinates? No. About damn oh, that's a good point. We need you shady. to actually program it in. So there's your yeah. final vote. Okay. So in the cockpit, um, the Marquess told Persilias to head to Atian space. And then okay. Hauer told Persilias to fly into the Great Barrier. Okay. But I'm you're the one that back. has to program the coordinates. Which which would I have been told? Who would have told me to punch in the coordinate? Well, you've I've effectively been told, been told both. Atian oh, okay. Space yeah, is... Um, like, basically the Marquess walked into the cockpit and acted like very dejected and formal right. and I kind of like very sad. She's never sad. Uh, but yeah, she's like, uh, I guess take us to it, Atian Space. And as she walked out of the cockpit to go back to our quarters to drink it off. Pretty obviously just drink it off. Which one's harder? Um, Are they both of equal difficulty for his brain or is... No, the hardest one... one is definitely the Great Barrier. Yeah. Because the maths for getting into there is trickier because of the roving plasma storms and the unstable nature of space around the... Okay. Well, also, I'm standing over your shoulder. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Like literally, like once he's in the zone, he, 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 there's nothing. Like also, for context, he's not really the kind of person that. It's not that he understands getting his ass kicked, but like. He oh, I'm not threatening you. I'm just no, watching no, what yeah. you do, and I will correct oh, yeah, you if you do something I don't want. 
No, it's it's uh, all I'm saying is like with the Great Barrier, if it's more difficult and it seems like people have given him the choice, then he's gonna pick the the harder of pick the, the two. harder of the two. That's what yeah. I was hoping for. Well, because it's more of a difficulty. <laughs> that's, that's like his that's his whole <laughs> shtick as a character. And, and, and then you could tell that like the Marquez was kind of like. Yeah, that's what they told me to do. But honestly. also, it's uh, a useful distraction because it means more of his brain will be engaged with trying yep. to transport the ship. Yeah, that's the logic I'm going with. Yeah, I got a thirteen. Oh crap! On for, a for the... you, you run the maths, and it's some of the most beautiful maths you've ever done. Um, you, wipe a tear from my you, eye. You could wipe a. You could write a paper on the on this, just on this oh. bit of maths alone. You punch the numbers in and begin the jump, and you drop into jump space. No crew, no cargo, no passengers. Just you and your ship, heading into the most dangerous and unstable region of space in the sector. We're gonna get my fucking. And we will wrap it up at that point. Iguana bunnies. Poor iguana bunnies. Yeah. Bloody gallo. Okay, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Gallo was ruining the gallo. <laughs> uh, this has been Garblag Games. Join us next week when we've got all kinds of stuff going on. You'll have to come across to Discord and check on what we've got going on. There's a link to the Discord right there. Come and check us out, see what's happening. Uh, we will see you next week for more of the same. Thank you very much and good night.